Hey, it's Shelly with Slide Vinyl Fun Creations, and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we'll have fun creating things using some of my favorite tools like the Silhouette and the Gold Forge. Today, I will be showing you how I customize this 20 by 20 throw pillowcase cover from Ikea. Let's get to work. I printed my design using 13 by 19 Crafting Besties paper, sublimation paper. The ink I'm using is Cosmos ink, and I use the 13 by 19 paper. And I also printed it mirrored so that when I put it on my um, pillow cover, it is reading right side forward. I guess that hope that makes sense. When you sublimate using the sublimation paper, it's best to tear the perimeter so that you don't see the harsh lines of the paper and it also helps to alleviate uh, ink marks. So I'm just tearing This helps no harsh ink lines when you sublimate. I'm just pulling toward me and rotating my paper. Like that. Moving on to my pillow cover. I've unpackaged it. Again, this is from Ikea. It's a 20 by 20 pillow cover. I will make sure that my zipper is not on the heat press so that my zipper doesn't melt. I've also left it unzipped so I can stick my paper in. And that helps the ink from the sublimation ink not bleed through the top through the back portion. So I'll just stick that in here. Just kind of reach in and flatten it out. And then I'll take my uh, lint roller and I'll just roll it all over and make sure there's no fuzzies. If you don't lint roll your things that you use for sublimation, the sublimation ink will definitely tell. There's some little squiggly fuzzy lines all over. So I will put it on my heat press so that I can get rid of some of these harsh square lines and take any moisture out. I'm leaving my zipper off. Just smooth it out. I'm also going to use another piece of sublimation, I'm sorry, butcher paper um, in between. I have my heat press set at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. I preheated it. I'm just taking the moisture out so I don't need it for 60 seconds just yet. Let's move this over. I'm going to actually trash this to make sure I don't reuse old paper. Let's grab my design. And I have this pretty much centered. I'm just eyeballing. I'll grab some heat tape. I'll just put a piece in one corner and the other just so that my design does not move. I'll bring it closer to me. So my design doesn't move. And sometimes it's called ghosting if you your uh, heat press pops up the paper can move over. All right, that looks good to me. And we start. It's counting down. See you in a few. 
the heat press is done, count it down to 60 seconds. I will remove my paper. And you'll see the ink looks a lot lighter now because all of the ink has transposed onto the pillow cover. I think it looks great. Love it, love it, love it. And here you have it, a custom made throw pillow cover we just did from Ikea. Love it, love it, love it. I also got the pillow insert from Ikea. It's also a 20 by 20, so it fits perfectly in here. I'll just take it out of the plastic. Fluff it. <laughs> and let's put it on in. All I'm doing is pulling it in just like I would do a pillow at home. and zip it up and this is what it looks like with the pillow insert in it you can see all the details in the flower and everything love it love it love it it says our family is a circle of strength and love founded on faith joined in love kept by god it has my family's names daryl shelley darius and dylan together forever This design was printed on 13 by 19 paper. I love how big it covers the pillow, the 20 by 20 pillow. And this is the design on eight and a half by 11 paper. And this is why I chose to get the EcoTank um, Epson 15,000 printer, the sublimation printer, because I can make small designs if I want or even larger designs. I happen to like how it looks on the larger design for this project. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you had fun watching and you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Love it, love it, love it.